with trainer Jorge Barrera for the first time. Says that he just felt like he shoe and he said that they jailed players with very similar records, pull in arm length, etc. There's a lot of Mexican system. They knew each other then. Never had. Both guys improvisational fighter. Just when he fights it. The half to go, I happened to be in London that night. Oh, soaring V-side with Chocolatito. They each did better against Chocolatito than Soren. And it attracts a following. Chocolatito, the monster who you're going to see after this boxing prodigy. There's something near the top of the game. With a, in a fight like this, one of these two as a, as a bankable star like that. And Quad, who is seen as having more upside. Absolutely. Will do things to draw attention to him. For Quadras as a result of his. I also think he probably won the round close. The product of the body shot. I, I think it may be a little early to say. A minute into round number two. Quadras had a mental letdown in his level, the level of competition. So he'll do good at guys like Estrada tonight. Because again, for Lomachenko, you're always. And it may just be. That's who he is. Right. Now round three. Crowd responds as you see he keeps his composure and just goes back to work. Encounter the counters. But I think Quadras is definitely set into the body with authority early in the fight. Imagination. He fights with imagination. Self is a star, Andre. Difficult. Anything but confident. He's so sure of himself. And this is what you should expect from two veteran fighters. And the goal. Estrada seems to be blocking the right hand. Quadras. That left hook landed. Quadras is the shot. That left jab to the body, too. Look at that first all the time. And I think he's back in. Estrada's turning with the punch, and it's kind of cuffing him in the back. Partially landing, and Estrada's partially running. In terms of who's damaging who the most, it's just for the sake of switching. Like, look at the, a lot of these clean in fact, the hook has landed more cleanly for Quadras than any other fight. fight and is going the way that he planned. Always to be first. I was just... Good hook to the body as Jim, you point. He punched for Quadras all night. And then the... They get in range into the fight, was averaging 73 punches per round in his last 10 fights. He's only averaging 50... Fight last year, a fight. The year before that, two fights. The right hand back in December. And... Yes, there's a question mark as to whether that is a deficit for him. Hit by Juan Francisco Estrada. Like that. With a left and a right. Body shots by Carlos Quadras. And uh, he, he goes off script pound in favor of Carlos. Coming up next, Teresa Ketsor on B-side against Chocolate. Super fly. Hunter Estrada in recent years. I just have a wild hunch that if we hit... Dab by Estrada, knocks Carlos Quadras back. Heavy now as he's throwing a heavy jab. Estrada, and they looked at last. Yeah, he landed a left one right before. Suddenly, Estrada has found the target in this fight, even though Quadras just landed a big right hand, and Estrada answered. After the fight, he's starting to pour, yeah. put more mustard on it. Because Quadras is starting to weaken just. <laughs> Harold, how do you have it? Okay, it's in the round six. Juan Francisco Estrada does something to Quadras. He punched on Estrada's face as this round, but Quadras hasn't landed anything really. Yeah. Up. It's not impossible. Andre, why is Quadras simply trying to get a breather? Estrada, oh. Estrada laying it on. He's been putting a lot of pressure on Quadras since the last. There's something there midway and late in the fight. Well, because from the middle of the sixth round off, Estrada. Quadras is evidence of the good work that Estrada was. There's a rally by Good right hand by Quadras. Is, I love this kind of fight. It's veteran fighter here who now is taking more control. Early on, Estrada with the targets. It makes a big difference. But you're in between rounds, slow motion. I mean, in these last couple of seconds here. They got his attention. Good body. Particular got to the belly of his feet back under him. Yeah. Started to punch a guy who's athletic. Uh, have another gear. And let's not forget that Quadras is a veteran as well. He's the one, so he's been around the block a few times. Which was the formula for him in the fall behind the wayside and lose a nip and tuck the super. Key moments in fights that he and, and he may be slip out since Estrada has landed a really hand across the top there has actually and that helped to set up that combination you just saw. And there's a lot of reasons why Estrada and he may not be willing to walk through what he has to walk through to get what he needs. Off. Quadras sees himself as a winner. Hard. Estrada definitely has good tricks he'll go to to try to right the ship. 
the beginning of this 115 pound triple header. Six and seven, and all of a sudden he stopped. And look at what he's doing here. He's coming back, getting off, throwing the first punch, landed hard. I, I think that is Strata from start punch. Look at it, down goes Quadras to go. He finally landed it. Estrada was fought with more energy. I don't know if you call it another gear, but he was able to recapture what started making this fight special. Did Estrada do exactly the right thing? And he can use Quadras' wildness against. Now Juan Francisco Estrada puts him down here in the stuff here. I think they're both desperate. Estrada is moment. Now, easily. Good luck. We've seen Quadras throughout this fight. Like Estrada was about to take over. He's fed punch and do what he has to do, but Estrada knows that if he gets another good shot in there, the fight could be over. Awesome. In this great year of boxing, where guys took different, the more technical approach wins, and the more wild approach loses. Goodbye. Hasn't had to walk through anything real. According to Tommy Box, but I think Estrada's punches have had more authority, and he lands another big left hook. In the corner, Estrada really took over. But the second half, just like Andre told us, 104, 1. On Harold Letterman's unofficial scorecard, we'll see what the official judges have after all the action is over. The way he was fighting. Well, you can tell that's the paying dividends late in this fight. You are. That's some rough moments down the stretch. Estrada, but Quadras is not giving up yet. He's or not. That's just who Estrada is. He's not going to come out right hand and trying to stay away from it. And that has given a stress calls and guys griping after the fight about decisions. And here Estrada looks to me. Of his fight for that man. A lot of heart on Quadras. He just. See right there, Estrada was willing to take those pity pat punch. But he's won this round. 30 seconds to go. Fight is still on the table. Quadras has tried to generate a lot of activity. Estrada has picked his shots and tried to land hard punches, and in some cases, very successfully. So, little left hook lands for El Principe.